Hi guys, you're welcome back to this YouTube channel and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process through which I monetize my blogger website with Adstar Ad. So I have this blogger website and I want to put some ads on it. I already have ads like this. I have some other ads like the pop under ad and then the social bar ad. So I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step guide to which how this is done and what effect visitors are going to be having when they come to this website. I'm going to be using an ad network which is called Adstar. So I have a link to this website in the description of this video. So you just come to this sign up for Sean if you don't have an account already. But I already have an account. If you are a publisher and you have a website, that simply means you have traffic which you want to monetize. You are going to sign up as a publisher on like an advertiser who is definitely looking for traffic. Also, they have the third option which is for you to sign up as an affiliate. But for the context of what we're trying to display in this video, you are going to sign up as a publisher. So I am definitely going to log in into my own account right now. I'm going to log in as a publisher. So once you log into your back end, so you can see a whole lot of statistics about how your website is behaving. I have the dashboard. Here you have the balance. On the dashboard here, you can see I have the balance here. So if you come to this side, you have the statistics. Your statistics section shows you your daily traffic, your CTR and your CPM rates. For us to be able to monetize this website, I will have to go to the back end of my blogger website. Here is the back end of my blogger website. By the time you have a blogger website all you just have to do is you just have to come to add a website so you click on this have a website button so it's going to bring you to this website section or you come to this website section at this website section you you can add your websites definitely right here so i have two websites that two blogger websites that are already added so you can click this add a website button also so this is the particular website which we are talking about there are 10 different ad units that are available for use for this website by the time you add your website all you just have to do is just you just have to come to this plus button where they wrote add unit so by the time you click it you want to add pop under ads to this place so i'll just click on pop under you have various ad subtypes that you can add you have the banner ad and under the banner ad you have different sizes of banners that you can add you have the native banner you also have the social bar. by the time you've added the website the address of the website is going to show up the category of the website you're going to add it also so the ad categories that are available are going to show up i have the pop under ad so let me add a pop on the ad. You can decide to remove erotic ads or you can decide to remove ads so it sounds you basically have the power to control the ad types that are going to be showing on your website. I'm going to click on ad right now. My request has been submitted and I can paste the code once it is approved. This is not a website I'm actually going to use to demonstrate but I'm actually trying to see how fast it is. Even before I have finished it, it's already active. For you to get the code, you just come to this get code section. So let me leave this side and come to the website that we're much more particular about there are 10 ads you need that are here so i'm going to be adding this pop under ad and then i am going to add the social bar ad i'll first start with the pop under and then i'll click on the get code uh, we're supposed to place the script right before the closing of the second header tag here so we'll just click on this copy code and then i'll go to the back end of my employer website the team is present on the left sidebar here when you are at the back end of your dashboard so you have the team here and then i'll click on this edit html here's the code snippet right before the closing head tags so we're going to look for the closing head tag this is the first header tag as you can see this is the first header tag we're going to place it immediately after this i am going to place my header tag exactly right here this is my header tag please add a line code six right here this you come to this save button and then you save it i have placed the code to my pop under ad right now so i will go back to my ads there are ads and then i'll pick the code for the social bar i'll click on get code also i'll look at the instruction it says insert it right above the closing of the body of this closing of the second body tag i'll click on the copy code option i'll go to the back end right so i'll go all the way down all the way down i'll look for the second body tag it's just exactly right here so i'm going to place my code right in between just before this is the body tag this is the body tag so i'll just place one code right here so i have my social barcode right here i have added the two codes i'll click on save okay this is basically the two subtypes that allows you to paste codes inside the team section so i'll go back to 
my uh, Stira website. I will, so for you to be able to use this banner ad, we have the 728 by 90. So this is the ad we are talking about. This big one is the 728 by 90. In order to add something like this, this is already added, but I'm going to show the code right now. So we'll come to the back end again, and then I'll show we'll show the layout. So under this gadget section, we have the header, header gadgets. It shows header as 728 by 90. So in order to place the code, by the time you come here, 728 by 90, so you get a code. By the time you get a code, so it says copy code. So by the time you copy the code, you just come back to the back end, you edit the pencil button button paste the script right in the content section here you just click on save and that's all you need to do by the time you finish all of this click on the save icon and after all that this is done your ad is ready to begin showing on your website i'll just refresh the website right now and definitely go to see so anytime i try to click on any of my posts right now my pop under ad and social bar ad are actually yet to begin working but definitely in a few minutes time i'm very sure that they are going to begin to be responsive it took me exactly five minutes for my ad piece of ad code to begin to respond on my website as you can see i'm being redirected to the advertiser's website but you have to be extremely careful so that you don't just stuff your website with annoying ad there are various other ad units that you basically can add on your website for instance, you have a whole lot of banner ads and then native ads, but you extremely have to be careful so that you don't stuff your website with too much ads as that definitely can increase your bounce rate. It can increase your bounce rate and annoy your visitors. Thank you so much guys for watching to this section. If you have any questions and comments, be sure to drop them in the comment section. Definitely all of your questions are going to be replied and definitely you are going to get feedback. If you are not subscribed to this channel, do all to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so that anytime a new video is dropped, you'll definitely be the first to be notified about them. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Peace.